Okay, there they are, right there. They must have manual hubs. You got out and turn the, the front hubs to four wheel drive. Here goes something. All right, here they come. Yeah, buddy. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me? I'm good, but it's early. I tell you, lately, I've been getting up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Same thing's happening to my buddy Felix. Um, he usually likes to sleep a little late. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's because of... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but... Today, it's uh, kind of handy. As you can tell, I'm at the Purple Tiny House. Get everybody caught up for a minute. The Purple Tiny House. My eyes are watering. So, let me think of what to tell you. We're in Arizona. The RV base camp there. And get a phone call from my delivery driver, my shed mover that uh, the part that they were missing for their truck has come in and if they can move the or, uh, move the they can move the purple tiny house this weekend so Felix and I are sitting there we jump in the uh, the red tracker and start making our way to New Mexico about 330 miles uh, we get here Felix helps me move the refrigerator out, helps me with a few other things here, getting it ready to ship. And I told him, I said, uh, you need to go on ahead of us, get back. So we have somebody at our RVs. Uh, so he took the Wolf Wolf Wagon home. Uh, we worked out a deal. Uh, he's purchasing the Wolf Wolf Wagon for me, from me. Uh, he's paid me for a majority of it. And I said, you and the Wolf Wolf Wagon, get on back to Arizona. What you doing, Felix? Driving my new tracker. Yeah, yes. Uh, I think it's called a sidekick. Oh, a sidekick. It, it's, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a 1991 Suzuki sidekick. How many miles you got? One, well, uh, 113. That's a 5,000. That's 5,000 miles less than uh, the red Geo tracker. Uh, so you got an extra door. An extra door, more room. 5,000 miles less, and you got a uh, cold. Air conditioning, I, I hear. I, I think so. Let me see. Oh, oh you're killing me. Oh, you're killing me. I sell it to you. <laughs> I'll trade you. Look at all this. Look at all my junk in here. This man's carrying for me. I'll trade you the uh, tracker and fifteen hundred bucks. I tell you, I, 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 I saw this thing. I saw this thing. I was like, oh my heart, oh my heart. And look, we're gonna take this off uh, and put it on the red tracker, but yeah. not right now. I got to get a, a, a rack built. But uh, you check the tires, check the oil. Yep. So you're going to go ahead and uh, beat me to RV base camp. Yeah, with air conditioner. And... Yeah, we didn't have none coming here. Yeah. I got to get that fixed. Okay, Fox. Fox. They're, deli they're delivering stone today. They're delivering rock. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, buddy. All right, Bob. Safe travels to you. Thank you, thank you. Like my, like my, my section? I, I, I very much. Oh, okay. It's got a header on it. Exhaust, Calmini, lifted. 
brand new brand new BFGs. Alright, alright, Bob. See ya. There goes my wolf wagon. That's a good truck, y'all. It's a good truck. He called to let me know that the Wolf Wolf Wagon drove great all the way there. Uh, it has set here for nine months, <laughs> maybe ten months. I'm not going. It's too early for math. Uh, my friend Craig here, he charged the battery for me. He drove it around down to the mailbox a couple times just to keep the gas pumping in it. I put uh. I put stabilizer in the fuel. So anyway, we checked all the fluids, checked the tires. He made it. He's back in New Mexico waiting on me. Uh, while he was there, uh, had six loads of gravel come in. So everything's just happening at once. Uh, next week, my uh, greater uh, my greater friend, <clears throat> my neighbor. He's going to level all that out, and we'll have a place to move the, what we're going to call it, the cabin. Anyway, anyway, let me show you what I got going on over here. I got a mess, y'all. I got junk. I got stuff. I got stuff. <laughs> me and the baby's been sleeping in here. The last thing I did was I took the air conditioner out, put it in my water trough, they told me I was going to get a, uh, like a moving truck. And the, uh, the lady that, um, that runs this place, she said, uh, just, uh, just leave it in here. We'll move it with the building. So that came in handy. I had the babies out here just wandering around, but they don't quite know what to do with themselves. So I put them up on the bed so they kind of chill out for just a little bit. You know, I put up these, uh, not alone, I had friends that helped put up these boards with like a, a brad nailer, a finish nailer. I'm wondering how many are gonna make it back without falling. Got a couple here that are already loose. I guess I'll just worry about it when I get back. Man, no, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. What's that tuck? I'm a little confused and stuff. I know, Tuck. And it's going to be okay. Today's going to be a busy, busy day. Why? Why is there... Why is there a chair in the bed? Well, baby, May Mays is just a good place to put a chair when you're moving. I, I think it's kind of scary. What's Martini doing? I'm sleeping. Don't even talk to me. I got my face... Point it to the wall so nobody will bother me. Let me cut this light out for you. Well, that's the fan. So it won't be as bright in here on everybody. Yep, like everybody. <laughs> like everybody, I got junk. Got rid of most of it. But this is the last of it. But it's my junk. Got my mattresses. I got, it's not even, I can't even tell you what I got. It's too much. So the movers are kind of making a family trip out of it. They came up last night. They're staying at uh, the Dusty Boots Cafe in town about half an hour from here. I got several quotes on uh, moving this building. Um, I had two or three that were at 2500 and then I had one that was a lot higher. But uh, this shed moving company, they moved the, the cabin. Let's call it the cabin. They moved the cabin for me. And they said they transport this building here back to New Mexico for me for $2,000. That's 700 miles round trip. So that's why I went with them. I had to wait. Uh, they have a, a 4x4 F450. And they had to put a transmission in it. So I had to wait two or three weeks. But... I saved five hundred dollars, and this hill over here is mighty steep, and I knew that uh, 
it, I'd be better off to have a, a mover that had a four by four truck to get up this hill. So I think all that's left to do is held up real nice. I'm gonna have one building with a blue roof and another building with a green roof. I guess that's what happens when you buy repos and used ones. Yep, yep, yep. So it's gotta cut the power. I guess the uh, spotlights will be okay. I guess they'll hang on. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know if I was clear or not when I said they're going to do it as a family thing. They're bringing their kids, and they stayed in a, a, a hotel, motel last night real close to here. Kind of make it uh, a family thing. But uh, <clears throat> I want to I wanna take the time to thank my friends, uh, Sandra and Craig, for letting me uh, stay here on their property. Um They've never once, I mean, they, they're not asking me to leave at all. They want me to stay. But they understand that with my new property, I want all my things there. But, um, you know, when the big V was going on and everybody was nervous and didn't know what, what was next and what to do, um, the TV had us all quite nervous, didn't it? Uh, so I, I was able to come up here, stay with my friends, Build out this little uh, little tiny house. Set up set up all these RV pads. Another pad right there. They just opened up their home here to me. And I will be coming back and visiting. Uh, I still have an open invite. Felix has stayed here. He has an open invite. But uh, yep. I made really good friends here and they're going to be coming and staying at my place now. They've got an RV and so I expect them to spend a great amount of time at my place in Arizona. Red didn't escape a bunch of junk either. She's full. I've been having some gurgling when I stop Red. The uh, hear gurgling in the radiator and uh, on the trip here I used to I lost a, about a liter of water and it drove good. It run good. I had one tank. I got, I got 26 miles to the gallon. Uh, most tanks average 23. Felix said he got 19 out of the Wolf Wolf wagon. This is a 16 valve. His is an eight valve. I think I may, I th I think I may or may not have a bad uh, radiator cap or a uh, fan clutch. So my friend here, he's got a tracker as well. And he let me take his radiator cap and put it on this one. So cross your fingers for me going home. Now, now is not the time to have a breakdown. But w w when is, right? <laughs> when, when is. It's a little disconcerting for me to have all my stuff most of my stuff in one place going to, going down the road 70 miles an hour with somebody else i want to thank roy my friend roy for making this sign for me a year or two ago he's making me a new sign for the uh, base camp in arizona i can't wait to share that one with you okay i'm walking out to the end of the road i'm gonna look down the hill here when these people come up I hired them. Number one, I wanted to do business with a local company. Uh, I had some people from out of state that said they would do it. But I wanted to do business local. These people had a four wheel drive and their price was just a little bit less than uh, some other quotes I got. Just a little bit. If you watch my video when the Purple Tiny House was first delivered. It was orange back then, yellow, brown. The semi got to right there and started spinning. He had two houses on the back. I told him to drop one and just bring mine. He wouldn't do it. So he ended up leaving the building down at the bottom of the hill and we drug it up with a skid steer and a little track loader. Okay, there they are, right there. 
They must have manual hubs you got out and turn the, the front hubs to four wheel drive. Here goes something. All right, here they come. Yeah, buddy. That's a truck. Stay tuned. Hello, Kevin. Howdy, howdy. Doing right? Some people can drive. Yeah. And some people can't. This fellow right here can drive. Yeah. All right. Good, Good to see y'all. Hi, it BB. Hi, Ducker. How are you? How are you? Another one. A bunch of little Chewbacca yeah. suits. Baby Maymay. Like, no. <laughs> this is my this is my friend Craig. Hi, Hi Craig. Craig. Hi, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, we could we put a new turbo on that truck not too long ago, and that turbo is it takes a while for it to wind up, you know, so a little different from what it was. Job at it. <laughs> Tucker Security. Yeah. Yep. Love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love Yeah, fierce security dog you are, Tuck. Amen. Man, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go with it, Dad. Just go with it. You take a look and make sure yeah. most of the boxes are lightweight, but there's several boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think you'll be fine. All right. Give it a little lift, and I think you'll be right. All right. Yeah. And I got a freezer here Get on the porch. Up, yeah. And I'll uh, let me put this uh, this front railing on. Yeah. It'll take me just a second, and I want to lock the door. All right. Putting the wheels on this side. Go back to Arizona with us, Tuck. <laughs> you mean it? I mean it. It took uh, some effort. They said this building's awful, awful heavy. That pine interior and all my stuff, a lot of weight. They'll strap it down, be ready to go. All right, again, I wanna thank uh, White Mountain Shed Delivery for uh, taking care of the Purple Tiny House. If you need your shed delivered, 520-661-4231. Orleans, M-O-R-E-L-A-N-S. All right, you heard it here first. Okay, they're gonna strap it down now. We're gonna head for Arizona. But uh, this video's already run long. So I'm gonna end this one where, right here, I appreciate each and every one of you.
Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon, and you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. I want to thank White Mountain Shed Delivery for taking on the job. And uh, this will uh, continue on the next video. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye.